and it is friday there we are it's friday good evening everyone good evening it is friday january 31st 2020 friday january 31st the 31st day of january the 31st day of the year and we're done with january and we're going into february like gangbusters we're going into February like gangbusters. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dave Garrett. This is Let's Have a Chat About Leadership for Friday, January 31st, 2020. The year is now, well, in a couple of hours where I'm at, the year will be one twelfth over. One twelfth of the year will have come to an end. And we're on the downside to Christmas. So uh, get your shopping. It's like 344, 45 days, or something like that. So get your shopping done in time and um, make sure you are not buying those masks. The masks are not going to protect you. They could actually harm you. So um, don't, don't be buying those fast masks. And that's what I'm talking about because tonight it is Forbes Friday. And we talk about something out of the Forbes magazine, the Forbes website, Forbes, Forbes newsletters, Forbes podcasts, videos, whatever. And in this case tonight, it's again continuing with the coronavirus and your money part two, week two. So we'll keep an eye on this and we'll kind of stick to this. So um, where is it? Where'd it go? Okay, well, there it is. Never mind. We left it alone. So out of the uh, Forbes website, markets plummet. And this is as of um, 4, 18 p.m. Eastern time, 4, 18 p.m. Eastern time, January 31st. Again, Sergei Klebnikov, Klebnikov, um, he writes, Markets plummet. Dow drops over 600 points as coronavirus infections outpace SARS. Okay, so last week we we're talking, you know, like, don't panic. It's going to be fine. Everything's under control. And this week they really have taken more proactive approach to getting out there and addressing this, the coronavirus issue and a lot of great things. And one of the things is, is uh, the mask. Everybody's buying these masks. So if you're in, like, McKesson, uh, if your stocks are in McKesson, uh, pharmaceutical and surgical equipment and and durable medical equipment and, and supplies, then your value is going to go up. But again, it's going to be deemed that it's going to come out to be like it's not going to protect you. Sure, it'll contain it. The problem here is one of two things. The gloves, are, the mask are sterilized, not the gloves, the mask are sterilized. So if your hands are infected, you've just now infected the glove when you put it on. Two, it gets exposed to the outside ear. Now that infection is sitting on the outside of the mask, and you go back, you put it on, you take it off, you put it back on, you keep repeating it because you don't want to ruin it. It still looks good. Yes, but that microscopic level, that's right. So again, don't. you're going to get it if you're going to get sick with the flu, a cold, the measles, the mumps, if you've never been inoculated against that. I'm not saying you're going to get the corona, but you're just as susceptible to getting anything else. So again, be advised. That's It's not going to help. Okay, It's just going to make it's, it's more for the people that are sick already. The people that have the flu, the people that are, have those regular, the regular flu, a regular cold, it's for them because it contains it and they've got to throw it away because they don't want to walk around with all the junky stuff on the inside. So they are already infected. So, but again, practice good hygiene, um, sneeze, cover up the whole nine yards, wash your hands, wash your hands. They, they keep saying, wash your hands, folks, it's 20 seconds, wash your hands. But you're not here for a health lesson. You're here about Forbes Friday. So, Top line, the stock market plunged on Friday after major U.S. airlines suspended travel to China and investors worry about the impact of the fast-spreading coronavirus on the global economy. Well, they also worried about the SARS. They also worried about H1N1, the avian flu and all of that. And they're more proactive now. And I guess because they recognize that now we are such fluid people. We're no, no longer nomads. We're no longer just travelers. We are fluid it's we'll start the day in one side of the country and we'll end the day on the other side of the country. And it happens on such a recurring, constant basis that it's, and this happens in Europe, this happens. And especially once we get the um, the bullet trains and, and the uh, high speed rails and all of that, I, I saw a plan that, that was really neat. And it would basically take you from Los Angeles to New York overnight. That's the high speed rail. And I want to live in that time. So freeze me, lock me up. And, and when that's in place, I want to live in that because it's, it's, um, the, the train, in my case, the high-speed rail would actually start just down the road for me. Actually, it would pass through here um, and then continue on to Kansas City, St. Louis, all the way up to Chicago. So uh, that's not too shabby. Uh, I'm looking forward to that one. That actually truly does happen, and it will happen. 
it makes sense. So anyway, stocks plunge Friday with the Dow Jones Industrial Average falling by 2.1%, the Standards & Poor 500 by 1.8%, and the NASDAQ Composite by 1.6%. The Dow posted its worst single-day drop since August 2019. So August, September, October, November, December, January, six months. But the uh, the Dow does drop in the summertime, so, you know, again... Yeah, I'm not worried about that. The fifth biggest drop ever while the standards of poor 500 saw its largest decline since October. So there's October. The World Health Organization on Thursday declared the deadly coronavirus, which is now infected nearly 10,000 people, 10,000 people out of on the planet of 7.7 .7 billion people. 10,000. OK, it's something it's not anything to, you know, shake a stick at or just dismiss. But. It, it's a valid number, and quickly it, it goes from one to two, and then two to four, four to eight. They tell two friends, and they tell two friends, and so on and so on. So next thing you know, that's how it goes. So um, making it the most infectious than these twenty, uh, than the two thousand three SARS outbreak as an international health emergency. Despite the coronavirus being on top of the mind for markets, this was also a big break for corporate earnings, which Amazon stock rose. 10% after the company trounced expectations yesterday, sending its market cap back above $1 trillion while Facebook beat an analyst. But rising costs and decelerating revenue growth sparked a 6% sell-off in its shares, and they're talking about Facebook. Amazon, this is going to be a great time for Amazon. Why? Because they're in the home delivery business. You don't have to go to a store and buy something. You buy it and they'll deliver it to your home. So guess what? If you're sick, you're not feeling good, you can order in some places that two-hour prime kitchen and you got chicken soup delivered uh grubhub it's a great time to invest in that they're going to be delivering uh and of course they'll be like you know we're going to leave it at your door and ring the doorbell and they're going to run to their vehicle that way you're not exposing them and they're not exposed to you and it works so vice versa so be on the lookout for rising stocks like amazon ups fedex um Food delivery services, Grubhub, Yelp, all, not Yelp, uh, what's that other one? Dish, DoorDash, there we go, DoorDash and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that. That's going to definitely be something that's going to turn things around for the economy. And uh, somebody, Commerce Secretary William, oh, I forgot, I forgot his name. I do apologize, but the Commerce Secretary in an interview on Yahoo today uh, actually spoke up and said that, hey, this uh, might actually be a good thing in that it brings jobs back. Uh, to the United States. And, you know, again, because it's closer to home, we can control it, we can contain it, and whatever production, anything we need to do, it'll get done. And there was this video I saw this, um, they were working there in Wuhan and in, in China, and they were laying down this concrete slab for, I guess, this huge building. And it just all came to a grinding halt. So it's like half of the ground is concrete, and then the other half, you still see the dirt and the rebar system and all of that. And uh, so really interesting, interesting times. But uh, again, don't panic. Just follow the rules. Listen to your health professionals. You're feeling sick. And if you have not had the flu shot, get it. It's not too late. It's not too late. Oh, but it doesn't contain the, it's coming. And that's the next thing I want to get into. Um, if you're in the market, pharmaceuticals, look up, do your homework. I'm not going to share any names, but pharmaceuticals that deal with this type of communicable disease. This is called a communicable disease because you can spread it through the community. It's communicable. It's shared. It passes along. It's a communicable disease. Look for those companies that make like the Zofluzu, Zofluzu. Um, what's that other one that everybody wanted with the, uh, well, all the different flu shots, all the different cold, cold, stuffy, achy, fever, head so you can rest kind of medicine stuff, all of them. So Bristol Meyer squibs, uh, Johnson, Merck, who else? Oh, I can I could go on and on, but I'm not naming names. I'm just giving you an idea of what to look for. And also look at the China Pharmas. Look at the China Pharmas uh, again, because they have direct exposure. They have direct contact to the uh, the virus. They can, um, you know, more than likely, they're the ones that are going to come up with the antibodies in the and the the drug for that and um, take that um, that in. What's it called? Oh my goodness! The injection, you know, the the shot, the the the, the uh, oh the medicine to counter that, and uh, so be on the lookout for that. So again, if you're looking at getting in pharmaceuticals, this might be the time. Home delivery services, this might be the time. Uh, home entertainment, 
streaming because I guarantee you um, movie movie theaters are going to suffer because again it packs people in for two hours and somebody's you, you know this you've gone to the movie theater there's always somebody down there coughing and you hear the the phlegmy cough so you know it's happening oh but that, that means that they're done with their exposure period you know what I don't care they don't need to be going out so again be on the lookout for like Netflix to rise uh, Disney plus subscriptions to rise so in that case it raises the stock Amazon prime their stock will go up because again people are going to want to stay home and uh, but they'll still be getting out there they'll still be doing things but for the most part um looking for that home-based any services company services that, that that do anything with the home base and keeping people at home and keep them getting people better that's where it's going to be so um there you go there you go so again uh where was this big numbers what to watch for Tangents, uh, somebody made a really neat little comment here, and I can't find it. And of course I can't find it, because now I need it. This week, quote, this week wasn't a terrific one in terms of price performance. Friday was especially ugly, said Vital Knowledge founder Adam Chrisafuli wrote in a recent note, quote, stocks will stay prone to sudden, sharp, and inexplicable swings for the foreseeable future, he predicts. Quote, the coronavirus is a wild card, and folks. It will be a wild card. But again, remain calm. Do your work. Do your do what you have to do. Be diligent. Take care of yourself. Take your vitamins, vitamin Cs, all of that. And um, take it easy. Oh, and um, what else? Yeah, have a good weekend. I'll talk to you on Monday.